Mike Bushell joins me now. It's so good to see you. Have you just about come to terms? Well, it's been a crazy week. Life has changed completely. Yeah. Everywhere you go, people talk about it. You know, I absolutely love it. Still riding on the crest of the wave, to be honest. For sure. I went up to Blackpool to cheer them all on, and that was special. Oh, that was good that you went up there. So you got a little bit of the taste of Blackpool. Yeah, well, I booked it weeks ago, because I never thought I'd ever get anywhere near to Blackpool as a contestant. <laughs> and I nearly got there. But was, you did. So we went anyway. You so nearly did. You're what the show's about for me, because oh. it's somebody that, that really can't do it in yeah. the best possible way. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And then, but, the, but then you got better and better and better, and you tried so, so hard. It was lovely. Well, they say at the beginning, just put all the hours you can in, put all the effort in, listen to your teacher, and Catty was absolutely brilliant. She was good. You two, you could see you two got on really well. Just a great sporting coach to get that belief in a beginner yep. that you can do anything. And she'd say, oh, we'll do like a move like this at the beginning of the, of the week. And I'd say, no, no, Catty, you're dealing with an old dad dancer here. <laughs> but by the end of the week, you've got it and you're doing it on that dance floor. I know, and you loved it. You can tell. You're, look at your face. Yeah, it's this great. is the first week. I've changed a bit since you, then. You week. have. Now, that, I must say, the weight loss yeah. is quite quite extraordinary. When you see the difference between what you were like when you started, look. There we are, yeah. That wee tummy's away. It wasn't much of a tummy. No, it was a bit of a tummy, well, though. Well, it was a tummy, but, but it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. And look at everything about you there in that second photograph. You are owning that stage. It's, it's not just fabulous. the weight loss. I mean, it, it, they, they say dancing is such an intense form Absolutely. of exercise. So there's that. And when you're training 12 hours a day, you're going to lose the weight. So a stone and a half, but it's the mental sharpness as well and the posture. Right. Yes. Katia, everywhere we went, shoulders, Manu. posture. Yes. And yeah. so people thought I was taller at the end as well. <laughs> so all of a sudden you've grown. Yeah. And you've got smaller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so many ways. Yeah. Why did you decide to do it? Was it just about learning a new skill or just a challenge? The biggest challenge ever. So yeah. I've spent 15 years with my day job trying right. to inspire people who think they're rubbish at sport and embarrassed to do sport to get in to some kind of activity sure. just to have the social benefits the fun with your mates as well as getting fitter and i've done that with over 550 different sports and when strictly came along i thought wow this has got to yeah. be a chance to inspire older people maybe to get into dancing to see dancing as a form of great fun exercise as people put it walking funnily to music which i just love <laughs> walking funnily to music and, and just I hope i inspire people do that myself. Yeah. It, sounds, it sounds really good <laughs> so that was the real reason to try yeah. and inspire other people who may be too embarrassed to dance or sure. think they're rubbish because i'm not really good i'm never of being a sportsman yeah, or a dancer yeah. to try something new and get the but benefits from it. You're right about the two worlds actually colliding because you, I think it's brilliant that you're inspiring people to do sport, particularly young women. Yeah. We need to get them yeah, to do totally. that. We really do. And I love the way that women's football in particular yeah. has just exploded. Yeah. And cricket. You yeah. know, and rugby, yeah, all yeah, of yeah. these other sports, yeah. it's just brilliant. But actually dancing, you've got to find something that you enjoy, don't you? And that's totally. the thing about that. Do Will you keep dancing? Absolutely. Yeah, My you've got the bug now. Dad, who's in his 80s, has started ballroom dancing. Wow. Me and my family are going to go on to dance classes. And because I'm doing the tour, I'm yes. so lucky that it's only like halfway in my Strictly journey. It's like half time. Right. So I've got to keep the dancing going, sure. ready for January when the tour starts. Oh, that would be On the so 16th. Exciting. And I'm so excited about that. I mean, I've Indeed. covered so many sports in these different arenas, from the O2 to Birmingham to Aberdeen. And now I'm going to be actually on the, the floor in the arena. Did you which ever is... think that one day no. you'd be dressed in pink? No. In spangles? No. Well, I've always quite fancied that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> up for parties, but you'd be but... doing that. It's no, just, but it's, it's beyond my wildest isn't dreams it? and imagination. It's really good. And how was everybody at Blackpool? Because I would imagine the nerves would be scary, you know, when you were. Yeah. And you're watching them. These are your friends well, now. What's quite because... funny, just about to go on air, and Katia comes out for the group dance, she spots me in the audience and says, Mike, up, do some swivels, do some swivels. <laughs> and I was there and the crowd was sort of cheering. I was like, no, I'm, never, I'm dressed in a suit. <laughs> so oh. the atmosphere was completely off the scale. And I actually saw the, floor, the famous boring floor bouncing. That it bounces, yeah, yeah, it really does. And the standard was incredible, wasn't it? The lowest score was 32. It oh, shows how it's everybody really raised their game. Unbelievable. I, I don't know how you pick a winner. Have you got your eye well, on everybody? Every there? day. I know it Every changes, day I change. doesn't it? Yeah. So I suppose on paper you'd have to say Kerry Moore or Kelvin. I think Kelvin... Kelvin's I mean, really the way it was... Did you see those insane oh, press-up lifts? I, I, I'm going to try that ridiculous. later. It's superhuman. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so I think he'd probably be the one you'd say... Yeah, Kelvin, probably, or Karim. Right. But then, if you get to the final, it's all about the public vote. The judges' scores don't That's count. That's true. And then some people just, you know, either maybe they crumble a little bit yeah. or they, they do their best yeah. ever work. So it's hard. really hard to say bye-bye. Of course, we have to say bye-bye to oh. somebody every, every week, don't yeah. we, which is a shame. Really hard to say cheerio to you and also to Michelle at the weekend. I know. She was really good. And that was a really important dance it for It was. Her. On so many And I know levels. there's been a lot of debate on social media I about this dance. Brilliant. But this is voguing, which oh, is actually a, a type of dance, isn't yeah. it? And she was absolutely brilliant at it. She absolutely Amazing. nailed it. 
I mean, she is the queen of sass. She and I is. said to her at the time when she knocked me out on the dance floor, I said, oh, it's an honour to be knocked out by the queen of sass. <laughs> Terminated as she but said But this was important for her. It was she, incredible. It really was, and she did a great job. The emotion behind this proud. and what it meant, I thought it was amazing. Oh, it was fantastic. And each week it's, it's horrible when someone goes. I know, I know. And the thing is, you've got to do it. Did you have a little bit of a backlash? Did you have to deal with any trolls, with any horrible things yeah, like that? Yeah, a little and bit. How do, how do you deal well, with Well, it's very surprising. I mean, I've got how could anybody skin. be horrible to no, you? Absolutely. It's outrageous. But it's, it's people on keyboards, isn't it? And so we were sat on the sofa on the Sunday night after I think I'd been in the dance off with Catherine and survived on Shirley's casting vote. Sure. And I have to say, I always think the judges, you know, trust the judges. Of we course. can only do all we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's in the judges' hands. And they're always right. They're the best in the world. And so my wife said, Emily said, oh, Someone's saying, unless you pull out tomorrow, you're a dead man tomorrow, by tomorrow night, we know who you are. Oh, so I thought, well, he can't get away with this. No, so I went no, to look at it, horrible. and then the tweet was deleted, and then the account was deleted. Disgusting. And then other people saying I should pull out, saying, hold on, everybody, it's a dance show. It's so an that entertainment is entertainment show. for all the family? We yeah. don't need the start. No, size. exactly. And just accept the judge's decision. Obviously, it's great to have opinions about who your favourites are, and if you sure. want that couple to go through, that's fine. But don't get personal. So exactly. we just stood up a little bit to it. But then we had so much positive stuff after that. You've got, that's what you've got to concentrate on. Yeah. These horrible, wee nasty people. Yeah. Just the. But I was never scared to get out of the house. I was yeah. never affected by it, but I just thought, well, you stand up a little bit to it. You... Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And you're the one that's going to be on the tour. Oh, absolutely. You're the one that's going to be giving out large. That, which is um, amazing. I look forward to it. It's so nice to see you. Oh, thank you and so much. thank you for all the entertainment over the past few weeks. It's been a joy. Oh, I've absolutely loved every second. And I've got to just remember all the moves now. Yeah. Go, go back and start yeah. dancing. You try that Kelvin thing. Oh, God, I'd be in hospital if I tried that. <laughs> thank you, Angel. Thank oh, you. Oh, lovely to be on.